All right, first little task out of the way in Mauritania. Just complete the agility course, you know. Um, I might use that to train later, but that's a free 50 points right off the bat. I really want to work on my herb lore, so I'm instantly just going to grab a banshee task. Yes, banshees, please. Kill 95 banshees, great. Oh, we got a genie. Give me that herb lore. Thank you very much. So this is the speedrun rush to 7.5k total points. Now that we have 12x XP, we can go grind absolutely every single task, quest, any achievement diary we need. It's going to be a lot faster. Each time you gain XP, you gain additional XP equal to 10x of your total level. Rushing this relic unlock is super useful. So our goal is to get these 3.4k points as fast as possible. I was just AFKing, editing a video while fishing some shark to get the 100 shark task. And a Jekyll came and gave me a strength potion. There's drink a strength potion done. Catch a hundred shark. That's a hundred league points though. I will take that. All right, guys. So we just did a little AFK shark fishing. Since I was editing the last video, 136 raw shark. Not going to lie. I did take a little time to sort my bank. I would say it looks pretty pristine in my opinion. We're going to start this episode off with a bang and do a farm run. As always, when I leave this patch, I usually fill this compost bin with 15 pineapples. Not only is it free farming XP, but it gets the super compost stacking for the future, of course. This whole farm run has already netted me like six levels. Farming is literally so good with 12x. This is why you rush relics first, because you need their benefits. All right, we got that patch sorted. We got our first limp wort plant in. I actually have one more in the bank. And just with basic kind of planting and super composting, 30 farming. All right, now that that is done, we have two patches set up. Just going to attend to the birdhouses. We're going to get started on this insane task grind that I'm about to go off on because I want this next relic and fast. Because we were doing abyssal leeches, we already have a water talisman. Actually, I think I might have gotten this from the wizards. I'm going to have to grind myself 50 pure essence, which shouldn't be too much of a hassle at all. Craft four rune essence with one essence. Wait, what? That's a task? Dude, I didn't even know that. Craft 50 water runes. All right, task completed. Complete the easy Varrock Diary. All right, there we go. We got an antique lamp. I'm going to use that on Herblur. I'm not going to be able to use that on Herblur. Um, yeah, we'll chuck it into farming because farming is just level 30. And that's going to be 41 goddamn farming. Varrock Armor 1. Just going to drop that on the ground. All right, same thing. But this time we're doing it for the Lumbridge and Draenor Diary. I know you have to make a pizza somewhere. So I'm going to make the pizza base here while I can. I used to play Wildernaut a lot, and I used to make pizzas 24-7, so quickly going to buy the pineapple from Hudo here. I had to come back and get my rope anyways. Too good at the game. 50 points earned for making a pineapple pizza. See, doing all the diaries now is actually a call, because now I get 12x XP from every single lamp, so my brain is like just galaxy right now. All right, we got an explorer's ring with 30 charges. We can low alk something 30 times for free. Oh man, I should really, really just go get 10 herblor levels. And that should be it. We should be able to clean the irrit. 30 herblor. Very nice. We just, you know, juggled some potions. We found the right supplies. <laughs> Holy crap. Okay, 53 herblor. We can make, I don't know, good stuff. Super anti, super attack. That's, it's brilliant. Oh, there it is. Catch a baby impling completed. Uh, I'll take a sapphire. We just got red spiky van braces. There it is. 50 implings caught in Pro Pro. That was actually really, really fast. Hey, there it is. And we get 50 extra cosmic runes plus 50 um, rune crafting. That's, that's nice. We got a bunch of 50s. All right, so my birdhouses are not quite ready just yet, but... There's a task here where if you chop a Soleoskep cap well, off one of these, it's a 1 in 100 drop every time you cut it, you get 50 points. All right, this is my third one. Let's see if we can get lucky. Oh, we just got it. That was not bad at all. Thank you for the 50 points. There it is. Dismantle 20 birdhouses. We finally did it. All right, so the next line of business is we're going to be completing the medium diary in Varrock. As you guys can see, it's pretty much almost like all done. That was expensive. We just had to turn 20 mahogany logs into planks, but it's fine because it's going to be worth the 50 points that we're going to get. Got the Varrock armor too, but I'm more interested in what this lamp can do for my herb lore. 90k XP. 
Oh, we can make soup. Well, we can now make super strength, super attacks, and almost super defense if that's even needed. I have a beginner clue here that actually might be doable. Boys, we have a casket. Oh, imagine it was a unique. I'll definitely take 10 points. I think the next task I'm going to go for is defeat Obor. We're going to do a lot of hill giants and just try to get like overheads. 43 parry. We do have the 12x. It shouldn't take too long. Before I forget, I'm going to make a games necklace real quick. Not only will I get 56 crafting right there, but now I can enchant the necklace and we can actually go to Tears of Guthics. I can also use the Barbarian Outpost for a task later on when I complete the course there. So it's just a good necklace to have. Honestly, that was sick. We just got 27 range because it goes to your lowest skill, right? And then that's also base 20s. So yeah, that was actually kind of epic. All right, we're in the top secret hill giant spot. Uh, we're going to do this until we get uh, a giant key. Or maybe we should just stay here until 43 prayer. I'm going to see how slow it is. Honestly, just got 31 prayer burying bones here. We still haven't seen a giant key yet. We're getting 60k prayer an hour, 525k strength an hour. Oh, we actually got it. We actually got it. Giant key. We killed 83 and honestly felt like way more. We literally just shred these guys. We're up to 33 prayer in one bone. 34. We just got a back-to-back -back giant key. Oh my god. A nice little nature room drop to end the trip. I'm not going to waste any more time here. I kind of feel wrong killing things not on Slayer task because I'm not getting Slayer XP. So let's go burn these keys and destroy two Obors. Okay, I think we can do two in one trip. Defeat Obor 50 points. With the 117 chaos rune drop, I was hoping for maybe a rune piece. Limpert root. How many is that? 20 limperts. That's that's really good for Herblore. That's really good. I'm happy with that. All right, I'm going to go ahead and buy a set of priest gowns. These actually give six prayer bonus. But yeah, I want to do the moss giants on task. That way we can also get a chunky amount of Slayer XP if we get Bryophyta. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing my Banshee task that I took at the beginning of this episode. And we're just going to be slaying through that. Man, I forgot these things dropped so many pure essence. They were useless in uh, Twisted League, so I never really thought about it. But now that I think about it, the drop table on these are actually really good for main game. More Herblore XP? Yes, please. I've made like three potions and I'm almost 60 Herblore base level without the boost. Nice little 10,000 Herblore XP drop, giving us a free level basically. Oh, clean a Grammy Avento, 50 points. I did not even know that was a task. I'm just vibing out. All right, we're done the Slayer task. That alone got us up to 38 Slayer. I don't remember what we were, but <laughs> in itself, that one task was 25,000 XP. And it was Banshees. So right now, I'm kind of in need of a Ruby because I want to make a Strength Amulet. But I thought of a better way than trying to actually buy it. Since everyone sells them, I can't actually buy anything because it's overstocked. Why not just grind out the last three levels on 12x Arty Knights, and then I'll just steal it myself. It's a 1 in 25 chance. 75 thieving with the boost. I can now steal from a gem stall. There it is. 100 points task. There it is. We finally got it. We got the ruby. We were actually having a clean world hopping on the stall. <laughs> it's actually not even bad. It's probably good money. All right, so I'm going to have to build the tool space 4 if I want an amulet mold. I just realized I didn't have one, and there's no way to actually get one. So we just gotta upgrade the tool space to number four. It's very basic. You just use two oak planks at a time. But yeah, if you notice on the wall, I can just search tools now and I can take pretty much all these molds. Just craft the amulet right there, string it, enchant it, and uh, oh, craft a ruby amulet is 50 uh, points. I didn't even realize. Strength amulet acquired. All right, so Vanica does assign moss giants, which is why I'm here. What I'm going to do, I keep forgetting to do this. Oh, there's some moss giants right here. I did not even notice there was an obstacle pipe here. But now what I'm quickly going to do is just go for 30 range. So I brought a Willow Shortpo with Iron Arrows. And then this way we're going to get base 30. There it is. Reach base level 30s. But yeah, what I'm going to be doing is just spamming in and out this pipe for uh, moss giant tasks until I get a mossy key so we can fight the boss. There it is. There it is. Wow, this one came so fast as well. Listen, it wasn't pretty, but we got the kill, got 50 points for defeating her, and we got 5 uncut diamonds, 5 uncut rubies. You know what? I'm happy with that. Jeez, I just killed the boss faster than an actual moss giant. Oh! Yo, room plate skirt! Yo, let's go. Oh, another big drop for Narseed. 
Dude, Moss Giants are just insane. All right, the last thing before I leave here, I'm just going to grab a brass key in case I ever need to come back. What we're going to do here is we're going to complete the medium lumbridge and drainer diary and defeat a wall beast. That is 50 points. While I'm at the bank, I'm just going to check if equipping a maple shortbow is indeed a task. I just didn't have one right now. There it is. 10 points. It is one. Very nice. So unfortunately for one of the tasks in the medium umbrage and drain or diary, you have to craft a coif. There is a tanner in the new region we unlocked, Mauritania. If we trade Sabat here, he'll turn that into a soft leather for 2 GP. No problem. Well, let's bait this guy to come out of the wall. I didn't realize these things had 105 health. There it is. Defeat a wall beast. 50 points just for that. That actually puts us above 5,000 total points. Don't misclick. Don't misclick the cowl. This time we get the explorer's ring too. But let's not get too carried away. We have an EXP lamp. How much herbal is this going to be? Dude, another 90k. <laughs> All right, guys. We are now in Karamja. Um, I just slept for nine hours, by the way. Good sleep. I planned to literally not go back until we have at least 12,000 points. Uh, or at least, like, maybe close to the 6th Relic. So it's about to be a grind. And the first... I just did some AFK things for about an hour and a half. I was AFK tasking Moss Giants back and forth. We managed to get the Overhead Prayer, which is really, really good. Got some combats. I got 60 defense, 78 uh, strength. There's a quest. There's a task done. Receive an agility ticket. Now we just need to get 10 of these so we can buy the Snapdragon. Snapdragon, please. There she is. 50 points. And that's a medium test free completed. There is defeated Tazar completed. There is fill a crate with 10 bananas. Easy 10 points. Enter the Brimhaven dungeon. 10 points. And then we have to kill a greater demon. So we're quickly going to do that. So there was a medium task for defeating a steel dragon. I'm going to quickly do that right now. With the 10% increased accuracy from the third relic, this should be a really easy task. Imagine we get a visage on the first drop. Well... <clears throat> There it is. Can we get the Draconic Visage is the question. Nope. Defeat a Steel Dragon. Karamja Demon defeated. Quickly going to come over here as we run south and yoink a pineapple for 10 points. Before I complete the 2x1 I trio quest, I'm probably going to have to wait for this Toad Flex to be grown. So I might find something else to do here. So for 2x1, so for 2x1, so for 2x1, so for 2x1. Alright, as we wait for that to grow, what I'm going to be doing is getting a fighter torso through the clan BA Services. I actually got a lot of torsos with them on the main game. You can basically pay them and they'll run a team with you to get a torso and it's only going to take one hour. Alright, there it is, I believe. T.Y. Boys, really appreciate it. Congrats on the torso, he says. Again, thank you to BA Services. If we go up here, we should be able to get the reward. Don't misclick this is what we need to not do here. Penance torso, except... There it is. Boom, 100 pass points completed. All right, now it's time to prepare for the 2x1 quest and do all of the Karamja stuff. So what I need to do here is actually get a spear. And the easiest way I think to do this would get a myth spear from the Moss Giants. There's 80 strength, achieve level 80, 100 points. We still have not gotten the dragon spear. I think I'm going to have to bank here in just a second. But look at all the mossy keys in my inventory stacking up. We actually might have a decent chance of getting the unique drop. Oh, we actually got a maze random. All right, we got around 60% in the maze, and the reward is just arrows. I was hoping for some cola runes. Guys, look at my inventory. I'm just trying to get a myth spear, and I have almost 10 mossy keys. What is going on? Why am I going so dry on such a common item? Bro, there's no way. I've never been this excited for a myth spear. Oh my god, we can finally just, like, leave moss giants. Oh, I did forget to bring in anti-poison. First out of the nine kills, rune plate legs. Let's go. Another mossy key and a rune plate skirt. Yeah, guys, I think we're going to be making a lot of cash from this boss. By the way, I'm going to hold off till clue scrolls until I unlock Asgarnia, which will be my final region. Let's get something epic. Rune chain body, dude. Oh my god. We're actually the rune salesman. Give me the essence. Give me the rarest drop, please, please, please. Okay, I'll take a rune. Okay, I'll take two rune eight bars. That's 12k in high ox. Noise, noise, noise. This isn't even bad Slayer XP. Another pair of rune plate legs, bro. 100 nature runes? That's a drop? Oh my god. Because we got the money. 8k. That's that's not even bad, honestly. Alright, I got repoisoned. But we only have two more kills after this. Rune Medhelm. A new best in slot helmet. That is actually very, very nice. Until, of course... Wait, we get two of them? And we get... Limpert Seed? How many? How many? Wait, one Limpert Seed? Okay, that is definitely the worst drop in the game. 
final kill unless we get a key. And it is. Oh my god, a hundred law runes. I need some more runes, but I've alked everything and we almost have 200k cash now. Actually, actually after this rune bar. Yeah, basically 200k cash. That is so nice. I'm going to go ahead and buy a lot of runes here. Just because I don't want to have to worry about my elemental runes. And I want them for teleports pretty much everywhere on the map. That's really good. The Toad Flex did not die. And Agility Potion. We need to actually have a Agility Potion 4. So I'm going to have to make two of them and then combine. There's 10 points for fishing a Karumbo G. Hey, we got another Maze Random while doing the quest. Uh, Taibo Wane, so this is really good actually. All right, what do we get? 160 death runes, 67 coal, and 18 mithril ore. I'm really, really happy with that drop, actually. There it is, the Taibu Wanai quest done. You actually get some combat XP as well for that. We just got 60,000 fishing XP from this brother right here. And now we know how to catch Karambuans. And there it is, the easy Diary of Karamja completed. All right, Karamja gloves one. I think that's very useful for some future tasks. And we also get a more blower experience working towards those uh being able to make brews because that's gonna be important there's a travel mask from the same victim now we have matching shield and helmet look at us that is 50 points earned and now we just need to finish 100 favor here complete the medium diary now we can go inside these doors cut some teak trees we're gonna get 50 points because we entered the hardwood grove all right the next thing we get out of the way from karamja and then we're pretty much done with this place until we do uh tazars inferno and fire cape we're gonna be catching 100 karambuan then we're gonna be cooking and trying to get 100 cooked yo there it is catch 100 karambuans 100 points all right we cooked the 100 karambuans these are like seven mil an hour if you can one tick them correctly i think just over six thousand points 1500 more points till our next relic there is a very big country level we can now do magic birdhouses because we have 75 with the boost. So I'll be needing to cut four magic logs every time we do these. And it's going to net us so much hunter XP. All right, it's time to finally move on and bang out and bang out a lot of Kandarin tasks. And there is complete the barbarian outpost agility course. We threw the bar crawl for that, but that is all good. And there is complete a lap of the stronghold gnome course. There's defeat the tortoise with the riders, 50 cabbages. I think I actually kind of need that. All right, this should be eight long runes and some woodcutting xp so it's right here 24k woodcutting xp we're now 75 woodcutting hey uh, there is tower of life completed that's actually a lot of good experience our construction level is now 38 base almost 40 base stats so if i get construction of 40 and range to 40 we can get that unlocked as well we're quickly using a raw swordfish and raw chicken so that we can complete one of the medium arty diary tasks necessary there it is the sword chick there it is, 86k XP drop in fishing, and 10 league points with Sea Slug now complete. Searching the crate right here, just north of the Gnome Stronghold, actually gets us a monkey, which we can wear for a free 10 easy points. People did this earlier on to the league, but uh, it's okay, guys. If we teleport with Brimstill here to the Runescence Mine, we actually get a free 10 points. Beautiful. Trap us behind La Rupia, 50 points earned. We're going to be doing a bunch of Hunter tasks right now. There's the Larupia set made, and that is going to give us another 50 points. Catch a butterfly, 50 points. Easy peasy. All right, we should be able to make our spottier cape and easily equip this when we have... What? It says we need 66 hunter to use it. I guess it doesn't account for the boost, so we need two more hunter levels, but when we equip that, it will be a free 50 points. That is kind of weird. Whatever. All right, this is going to be... All right, we've completed Eagle's Peak Quest. There is Snare Bird, which got a Crimson Swift. All right, so the next things to do are catch a red salamander, which is 50 points as well, and do the observatory quest, which is right south of here. So after we catch one, I'm going to go do that quest. 50 points for catching the red Sally. And there is the observatory quest done. That is actually really nice. Gain a bit of crafting XP. All right, so one of the tasks in Kandarin is move your house to Yano, but you need 50 base construction. And there's city construction using the oak larder sawmill method. All right, we're going to pay 25,000 coins to move the house to Yano, and that will be 50 league points. I'm going to actually leave it there because it's a good place to have for now. I don't really need my house in Karamja. All right, and there's 68th evening. We quickly came to the Arty Knight to get that. Why? Because now we have 80 boosted. And there it is, pickpocket a hero, 100 earned. All right, so complete the rest of the RD mediums. I need to do Plague City, because then I can actually unlock the RD teleport, and that's also gonna be really useful to just use. There's Plague City complete. Let's read the RD teleport scroll. 
And this is very nice. Now I can carry water runes and teleport here. Before I finish the rest of these range levels off, I realized that if you equip studded body and chaps, that in itself is 10 points. Hey boys, 40 base level has been reached, and now we have 40 range. Entering the mage arena gives us 50 points. Uh, there we go, enter the ranging guild completed as well. Receive a slayer task from Steve, and we get 10 points. Uh, I picked blood builds because, and doing so is going to give us 50 points. Equip a U short bow, which we already are in a bank, 50 points. All right, this is really good as strawberries have grown, which means that we get the diary task for it. I'm actually going to go ahead and grab my snape grass seeds so we can finally get some prayer potions. Hey, there it is. From raking the weeds, we got the 61 farming, which means the snape grass is now plantable. Luckily, the moss giants gave us... But right after we harvest this, we can do Jad for the 250 points, a fire cape. Quickly making a mithril crossbow here. And the reason we're doing this is because we need something to shoot this myth grapple, which is going to help us complete a task for the arty diary. Let's get over this wall right now. Boom. Since Watchtower is auto-completed, you can actually access this ogre store, and it actually has Eye of Newts if you haven't unlocked Asgarnia. So I'm going to pick a lot of packs up. And that in itself is a task. Make an attack potion. Didn't even know. Okay, that was actually harder than the fire cape, probably. But a mithril dragon has been defeated. I do not recommend. All right, we get the cave nightshade and bada bing bada boom. You have completed the medium tasks, which is 50 points. You get the already cloak two can finally upgrade. This is going to go into, I think, crafting because it's a little bit behind. So just a little bit of 90,000 crafting. There it is. We can now do the magic birdhouses, which is really, really, really good. And there's 100 points. Build a magic bird house. Thank you very much. There it is. Cooking 100 shark task. 100 points. We fished all these during episode 2, I believe. So that's how we got so many. There's only a couple things left before we get a fire cape. I want to do some Tazars because there's a bunch of tasks there. Get equilibrium. Get a whip. And most importantly, go get her black mask. I've been wanting to do this for a while now. What I'm going to do is quickly kill 7 werewolves here. Just so I can get 7 bones for the ectophontis. But yeah, that's a task, 10 points. Visit Port Phasmanis, 10 points. A very important quest, Ghost always been completed in Mauritania. Now we have the Ectophile to teleport here. But most importantly, we can go to Masa's Harmless and get a black mask from a cave hoarder. Visit Masa Harmless is 10 point task. I'm going to get the fifth relic real quick so that my drop modifier makes it so that rare items are less rare. And we're only 170 points away. First thing I'm going to do is run the series course. There it is, complete the series agility course. Oh, it's actually 100 points. Wow. We just went around to the stores and bought the green dehyde set. Equip the full green dehyde at 50 points. Oh my god, I just wanted to train my range and we just got the mask. Because I wanted to try to get base 50s for task. But I guess we won't even have to get the fifth relic luck to just get the black mask spoon fed to us. Chop tree with the steel axe. How have I not done that, boys? I'm wearing a black mask and I haven't chopped a freaking tree with a steel axe. <laughs> Craft a leather body? Dude, I haven't... That's a thing? There it is, boys. 7.5k points. It is time to unlock the fifth relic. For our fifth relic, we're going equilibrium. Each time you gain XP, you gain additional XP equal to 10% of your total level. This is really, really good to balance out all your skills and make them faster. We also have a drop rate multiplier now by three times. Three times is likely to get rare drop. So it's time to head over to that Tazar task and see how lucky we can get. So with the 3x drop rate that we have right now with this fifth relic, the passive for the relic, we should be seeing a Tazar item every 42 kills. The XP with Equilibrium is absolutely insane. Well, we just did the whole Tazar task and didn't get one unique drop. I'm going to try one more time. Oh, we got something on the new task. Obsidian Cape. Boom. 100 points earned. Oh my god. Alright guys, so I've decided that I'm going to task Tazars until I get my Abbey Whip, which is only two levels away. It's extremely quick and I still need two Tazar drops, so... I'm going to go ahead and task that right now. This should be the last task. We have to do 140 of them. Oh my god, I just got another obby cape. First kill of the new task. That's actually really good for the onyx. Well, boys, we just got another toxic seal ek the dagger, basically. It's 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 points towards the onyx, which is good, but uh, we're still looking for the shield if possible. We're almost at the whip, though. We're almost at the whip. There it is. The obby shield. Oh my god. We got some more strength bonus and 100 points. There it is, boys. 73 Slayer, which means we're 85 with the boost, and now I can go get my whip. And there's 90 Strength, a task, 250 points, which puts us at exactly 8.1 thousand points. 
I'm going to go skip my task and get the whip. And then we're going to do the fire cape. Another obby dagger. Damn, these things love me. Oh, we got the sword this time. Insane. Is that more task points? Yo, let's go. 100 task points. Oh, defeat an abyssal demon in Mortania. 100 task points for that. Guys, I forgot to record it. We just got the whip drop though. And it is in our hands. 250 points acquired. Let's go get this fire cape and end the video strong. <laughs> there it is. Jad defeated. Took it a bit safe for the second time. Did we get a pet? No, we did not get a pet. But we got the fire cape. Equip a fire cape. 250 task points, guys. That's going to leave us with 9.4k of the episode. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time. We're a beast. Peace out.